Welcome to the 611 Films YouTube channel. We are back in 99. My name is David Groves. This is one of your hosts with me as always. Neil McKay, what is going on? Neil McKay, we are talking about Girl Interrupted today. Girl. A movie that I... Comma interrupted. Right, true. <laughs> interrupted by a comma, I, I guess. I, 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 I feel like I saw... I definitely saw this, but I don't remember... I didn't remember anything about it. I don't... I, I, I knew that Angelina Jolie, there was a lot of big names... With females, mm -hmm. I don't know how I saw it. I don't know remember, but I rewatched it, and it's 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 good. I still don't understand the title exact girl comma like as you're saying interrupted. I was gonna ask what what does this really mean? Uh, the reviews that when it came out, everyone's firing on all cylinders. Obviously, Angelina Jolie wins the Oscar for. Best Supporting Actress, Winona Ryder's great in it. The cast, everybody's great in it. But mm -hmm. there are yeah. some issues with the film. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's uh, this was kind of... It's funny to look back at Angelina Jolie in this movie because this was kind of like her, you know, first... Thing. I mean, she had done stuff before, um, like Gia and, you know, these things. But this was, this was like her, like, okay, now she's yeah. like instantly a household name. And, uh, but it's just funny, like looking, you know, you know, her is like Brad Pitt and the, all the adoption did kids and the philanthropy and all this other stuff. And then back then, this is when she was like all black dressing and like making out with her brother at the Oscars. <laughs> it's just like, this girl's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just so funny to think back of, uh, of, of like what, you know, back, back in the day before well, she was yeah, like she a huge name. But. Yeah, she she had uh well like yeah I had to look up like I was like is she was definitely nominated for other Changeling which is a really great movie that came out in '09, uh but this was her os only Oscar win but yeah she's been married Johnny Lee Miller with her and Hackers. Uh, That's why she then, did that before this. I yeah, saw that then, a long time ago. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think I remember this more fondly because we we had a, a text conversation with some friends and and then you all were like, I don't remember this movie, and I was like, really? Like I think I've seen this a couple times and I remember it pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, and I see, I I thought I liked it a lot more than I guess I guess you guys didn't really remember it or you said it had some problems. I was like, I thought it was pretty good, but no, it's good. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's very uh, it it it. it does kind of bash up with uh obviously the the mental institution the whole thing one, one i was gonna say one flu of the cougar's nest you're gonna it's it's like it's, that with women yeah. i think it's a little bit unfair to just say it of like course. that i mean it's got a little bit different stuff going on but i absolutely yeah of would. course it's gonna make the comparison and, and, that. and, and i think there was somebody that says i don't know if it was winona Ryder or angelina jolie that says in some interviewer like you know this is a Yes, it's about mental illness and it's about all these things with these girls. But thankfully, there is there was at that time a movie made where we weren't having to take our clothes off or get murdered by some masked man. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, that's true. Actually, I agree with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because there were, I mean, there were such great characters, and you were you were spot on. Like the acting, I mean, across the board, and and the way they portrayed these. Um, you know, mental, uh, you know, illnesses or, or these these health problems, they, especially in the time frame. I mean, this was, I think, late sixties, yeah. and so this was right. like, oh, women are crazy. Just throw them in the institution. Um, so it was, and and even even back in ninety nine, and I don't think it's like it is now, where people kind of have the they take it as seriously as they do now, like um, mm -hmm. with diagnosing right. and treating and 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 all the things and psychotherapy and and, and all of it. Um, back then it was just and like, remember too these girls were and it was the big thing that i was like is there no one new that comes in like you know because winona Ryder's character Susanna, comes in and you get to know like some of the other characters like elizabeth moss's first i guess film maybe i haven't looked that up but you've got uh that and uh Brittany murphy and obviously jolie uh clea duvall uh plays a role mm. but it's like nobody else shows up and i think it was because like there was this was a you know paid for like facility i think Whoopi goldberg as a part of it says you this is a four-star hotel compared to like state-run organizations of mental health facilities yeah yeah that makes sense because i mean i think uh, Brittany, Sp uh, Brittany, Sp Brittany murphy's character um clearly her dad was well off and trying right. to um you know 
like kind of keep her like, uh, you know, here's enough to keep you out of my way and, and keep quiet and kind of these things. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. Cause she got pulled out of there and got her own like apartment or something with the chickens and <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> before before and she yeah, had to kill I remember herself, that. But... dude. I, I I I and I was like saying to you, like, yeah, on the text, I was like, I know I've seen this. I just don't really remember yeah. anything. And then, like, you know, I'm gonna stab myself in the aorta. Go ahead, that's enough. Take one fucking step, and I'll jam this in my aorta. Go ahead, go ahead, stop it, Lisa. Your aorta is in your chest. Oh, and I, I mean, that's uh, yeah. I remember all of it. I mean, I, I didn't know it was Elizabeth Moss at the time, you know, of, of Mad Men of fame course, and yeah. uh, Handmaid's Tale or whatever. Oh yeah, um, I didn't realize she was the burn, uh, the burn girl. But yeah, I remember it all. I remember like Jared Leto was like had a small part in it. Um, yeah, they um, had a they had a great a great cast. I mean, I, I think you could say the acting is is amazing. Uh, but I yeah. think that the problems that I did have now rewatching it was that a central focus was on obviously Susanna Winona Ryder's character and her kind of I wouldn't say it's not a fling but her attraction to uh Lisa Angelina Jolie's character and then we kind of get a little bit of this let's have Whoopi Goldberg and then there's the Jeffrey Tambor character and then there's Vanessa Redgrave who runs the thing and it's you don't really get the sense of why she's I mean there are those scenes but I think like some people said it best in reviews it's like uh, it, there's just a lot going on and we never really delve deep deep into like her borderline personality or what's going on with her and it yeah. felt like the ending was very fast and forced of like you know it's the movie starts with the ending it does like a little quick scene and then all of a sudden that scene at the end is sort of okay we're done now she's leaving yeah i could see that i guess i don't know maybe it had a little bit more resonance with me because i like the like she so i kind if you look at it kind of like angelina jolie is the villain and she's the sociopath and she's trying to break people down because of her own problems and she gets to the britney murphy character and basically kills her like she convinces her to kill herself and then it's like she tries to do that with one owner writer who's like no you're not going to do that to me and then that like and then then she flips the table on angelina jolie and she's like you're doing this because you're broken and i don't know i just felt like mm-hmm. it was like yes okay cool like that had i don't know at the I, it just it was like okay that felt that satisfying yeah if it ending. works for you. and maybe i didn't care about the vanessa redgrave side plot or whatever <laughs> You know, I'm just like, all right, this was the main well, thing. There was, was there was and... so many different, like that kind of thing. Like there was like, it started off too. And it, it, it was like nonlinear where it was kind of cool and fun and interesting where like she'd get sidetracked, like when other writers, Susanna would mm-hmm. get and look out a window and then it would flash to like her, you know, a week earlier, a month earlier. Like there was that scene with her uh, at a graduation and she's just sleeping. Okay. I, I mean, Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. What was scene to film, and what did that really mean to anybody? They could. Like, they could have cut of that. I get it. Yeah, they could have cut the fat a little bit. I guess. Yeah. And I, I mean, maybe that's my thing. I kind of remember the main storyline, and then some of these side things. I kind of go, ah, whatever. Right? That wasn't important, so I forgot it. But I just, you know. Yeah, and, um, and, and like I said, her her going in and being the last one to, I guess, technically go in and being the first one to then get out. You know, some of these girls, I guess, are quote lifers at this facility yeah and we know their backstory a little bit but i guess i i uh, can we get a little bit more with them or or a little bit more i mean it just it moved around like i said i like this movie i really do yeah mangled you know i was gonna i was gonna say i i forgot that it was him and uh i know recently you know he's done logan and the wolverine uh, Ford versus yeah. Ferrari. And then I was kind of going back. I was like, oh, he did Copland, I did. which yeah. I think is one of the most underrated movies of all time. He did Identity, Identity Walk the Line, heard. 310 to Yuma. I mean, I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. Did some oh, yeah. Stuff, he, you know? I mean, he, he's done some great films. Like, and I guess I've never seen it. His first uh, entry was Heavy, a, a movie called Heavy. I've never yeah, seen I, it. Yeah, I don't, I I don't remember seen it. it. No. But uh, I think that Winona Ryder was in when she was getting the rights to the whole thing and, and doing all that, like looked at that movie and was like, this guy I want to direct. So 
Yeah, I, I've liked a lot of his stuff, and I yeah. think his character, his character development stuff is great. Yeah, I think me, great. me too. Yeah, I, I really like. I'm looking at him like, oh wow, I for, I didn't realize. I haven't seen Indy like, Indy Five. I've heard that. Uh, so, yeah, wow. Well, like, we'll kind of forget, and then I think Indy I think uh, the last one, Last Crusade, is the last movie I saw that one. Yeah, that we're, we'll forget about that one. Kate, but, Kate and Leopold's another one we can. <laughs> oh, he did Kate. Uh, but that, I think that's how he started uh, started working with Hugh Jackman. Was oh, gotcha. Hugh Jackman was Wolverine, but and, yeah. Hey, hey, you know they can't all be winners. Sometimes I know you can't you can't have a perfect resume. But hey, I like this Angelina Jolie. Great. It started like she's a firecracker in this whole thing. Uh, I say, guys, go see it. Check it out. Now, if you want more Back in 99s, please like, subscribe, comment. We are doing this every 1st, 10th, 20th of the month. We'll see you guys again on the next Back in 99. Later. My-